Hi students. So this is lecture number eight, and uh, in this lecture we will see the introduction to Elementary Pro. So what we will learn today, we will see that what is Elementary Pro, how we can integrate Elementary Pro, what are its Pro widgets. Until now we have seen just like free uh, all of the free widgets we we have in the free Elementor, and uh, what are the add-ons and what are the uh, widgets add-ons providers and how to integrate them uh, and we have seen each one of them to uh, how they work and how to integrate them so now we'll see what are the pro widgets and how to create elemental header and footer I suppose if we don't want to use the themes header and footer because we can do it uh, from the elemental pro so we'll see this today as well and the next thing would be how we can upload our own font in elementor and uh, we can use our uh, our uh, if we want to use our liking um, uh, our font so we'll uh, do that and uh, the next part would be how to make header sticky and we can uh, make it shrink on scroll and at the last we'll see uh, the woocommerce setup because in tomorrow's lecture in next lecture we'll be going towards woocommerce and a uh, complete e-commerce website so in today's lecture we also set up the woocommerce then uh, this is the most important slide of today's lecture. I'll also give you Elementor Pro credentials. Please do not give these credentials to anyone else because this package includes 20 licenses. And by licenses, I mean 20 websites. So we have like 18 or 19 students and one is for me. So please keep it to yourself and I'll tell you the method to apply these credentials, where to apply and how to apply. So this is a user and password please keep it to yourself only. And the task would be, please practice the given lecture on your servers for one till now, what we have done so far. So let us quickly uh, move towards the browser. So uh, I'll go into plugins. And in plugins, I will go to install Elementor Pro. I have given this Elementor Pro file. Okay, uh, this is the Elementor Pro, Pro, Pro uh, file and I've given you in Canvas. Okay, so I'll don't go Pro from here. I'll just add the new plugin. Okay. And then when it will ask me, okay, if, if suppose if I am, uh, I want to search for some pro plugin because this directory is for free plugins. Uh, if we have any pro plugin, we have to download it from the relevant website. For example, let's say we are uh, going with Alimenter Pro. So we will be uh, just downloading uh, its uh, pro version from their website and then upload it. So uh, I have the file, I, I've also shared it with you people. So you'll go to this upload plugin and you'll just choose file. Okay, then, okay, let me go into the specific folder. Okay, here we have Elementor Pro and it's for your 3.4.2. It gets updated once you have uh, bought the license, it will give you updates. So I'll install it now. Okay, this is getting installed at backend. So we should wait until it gets installed. Okay, until then I'll check for the updates. If we have any. Now, uh, you, you know what is Elementor Pro? Elementor Pro is a pro version of the simple Elementor and it gives you very much premium features which you uh, don't have in the simple Elementor. And uh, th this is the part we are at uh, that how to integrate Elementor Pro. And uh, I've also shared the credentials for Elementor Pro. 
So, okay. okay. This has the update. I'll update this after this gets installed. Okay, it might take some time at your servers as well. So, be patient. Okay, so now it is showing that uh, this plugin is, is installed successfully. I'll just activate this pro plugin. Okay, now. Then it will automatically ask you to connect and activate. You don't uh, have to go to, uh, okay, so earlier it was uh, GoPro with this Elementor. Now it is with the Elementor Pro, it is now, uh, I will ask you to connect and activate. So you are going to have to connect and activate this. It will take you Elementor.com. Okay, so right now I'm using uh, my own. Okay. And okay, let me go to incognito mode because uh, it will ask me to activate this license on my La, uh, old server so I'll complete okay open this account so it's asking me to log in okay now I'm logged in okay now it is at the same point so I'll go into connect and activate this should not show my old account. Okay, it's asking me for um, login. Okay, you'll be redirected to here, so I'll just enter the credentials. Okay, we have the password here. Okay, so now it is showing me that uh, my account is uh, being synchronized and it will expire next year, October 2022. And I'll now just activate this plugin into my server. Okay, now see this is activated i can disconnect it from here or i can switch it uh, to another other account the state is active okay this was the integration part so what will be the next part okay what are the pro widgets um let me close this one this one this one okay So now I'll uh, go to pages, sure, and then I'll edit the about page by Elementor. <coughs> and the Elementor editor will start to loading. Okay, so I just closed this basic. So now, you know, you see every pro plugin is just now open. Suppose we are here and I don't want this. Okay, I'll just delete this. I'll also delete this. I'll also delete this. Okay, so now we have, uh, if we want to just make the blog page, and we want to um, 
design the blog page on our own so we'll just uh, drop this uh, widget pro widget there so you see uh, uh, earlier in the premium add-ons we could also do it so add-ons are for a replacement of pro widget but sometimes we could not find the specific thing into add-ons as well so uh, the skin is like cards okay so it looks very good and uh, I'll also make it four column or three column was good I guess yes okay the masonry form okay we want this okay the image is this the expect ratio uh, the width is 0 0.50 sorry it is the height so I'll just make it 0.6 is back I want to show the title yes I want to show uh next thing read more text is this badge is this avatar is this the profile icon of the admin or author okay so i'm gonna go to style and this is the column gap let us make this 50 so this is the in between gap okay so this is the rose gap okay then I'm gonna go to card and this, this is the complete card the box okay the hover effect is gradient you see the, it color the color changes and if I'll make it none it will not change so I'll make it gradient again and I'll go to content and I'll go to title color now I'll make this smaller like 22 would be okay not 25 25 is good okay so this is meta yeah. so get this black color okay except I'll make it black this is the small text from the whole blog is except and meta would be the author name the time date and this is the read more this is in white i'll make it black so it start appearing and this would be roboto okay i'll update it okay so now it was the post widget and now we'll go to this portfolio it will just start displaying different portfolio images we can also go to styling and we can style them and this is the gallery some of them are old and some of them are new or uh, you can see um, the good ones the next is good okay so now I will just click these ones show you the gallery okay this is the gallery and this must be like box yeah so we can just show some uh, products or show some business pictures or office pictures or team pictures like in the gallery so next thing would be form I'll just drop down the form I can create any kind of form the contact form the request quotation form or any kind of forms post let me take an example from this website from the forms plugin what I've created we can design it in any way let me show you an example so we'll design this it in that way as well okay this is the website I've recently developed <coughs> okay so we are gonna go to uh, make something like this okay and I'll go to this thing and I'll just delete this one okay the next thing would be I'll go into this and I'll just keep the label here and 
here and here because this is the label I don't want and uh, okay I want one more column so now I'll just make this 50 so it is now in half cut in half and I also want this 50 okay the next thing would be I want a phone number so I'll just make it tell and placeholder would be here Okay, and the input size is small. What I if I make it medium? Yeah, it is big enough. And okay, this is required mark, so I have to make it required. The name is required. Yeah. Uh, email is required. Phone is required. Okay. And. This is also required. Suppose if we are in a specific column, so label placeholder required column width rows. How many rows it can be written? So I'll make it 10. Okay, let me go to advanced. It has default value if the ID is message, the short code. If I want to display this big bo box right away, so I'll just use this short code. Okay, uh, the next thing would be the button setting. And I want to show it. Okay, let me just go to style and just style it first so you can see the things. Okay, I don't have any labels, so I'll just not go into the label setting. This is the HTML field setting. And you can write in the black color because you have this field in black color. And now the text color is black, which I've just shown you. Typography is maybe Roboto I can just change it to let me say open sounds and it should be 17 now it is open sounds 17 I don't want to change the background color of this specific box okay now I am in button setting and the background color is black yeah next color is white see it right now and the messages what should be messages color first uh, success message color should be if the form is sent successfully so it should be green dark green error message should be dark red and inline message color so in case of any uh, error um, or alert it should be like this color so what steps should it involve? It has spacing, padding, this thing. So I don't want to go into this. I'll go into content again. And let me go to buttons. And I don't want this big button to be here. I'll just make it right. And I will make it, uh, okay, what is it, large. It should be medium. And okay the what should be the action after submit it should collect the submissions and it should email this submissions i can just make it anything redirect webhook mailchimp trip active campaign mail light slack discord i can just send it to anywhere else i can uh, just ask for a response okay i should give up uh, suppose i want to give pop-ups and anything like that and what should be collect submissions the submissions from here email would be from my uh, admin email I can just change email here if I want this to send it to any other else thing and I want to just send all email fields with on the specific email and from uh, this email uh, from this website it should uh, for example this is sharing at code.com from here the collection uh, submission would be going to this uh, specific email it is redirection if I want to CC or BCC some email, okay, the steps setting. So um, type would be number and text and shape would be circle. Okay, additional options, 
if I want to give any form ID or the custom message if this form was sent successfully I will make it yes because I want to show these messages error message uh, then I'll occur the field is required this is the message valid message we have there is something wrong this form is invalid so the form is set up I just want to design it so I will go here first of all I, I want to place an icon over it like this one and uh, say it, let's get started today so I'll just drop item for it and I'll search for envelope yeah and I'll pick this okay now I'll go into this section I'll give it a background color okay this is good so I'll just make this margin from top and bottom so I'll just give it 60 and 60 maybe or 30 or 45 yeah that's okay so now I'll also uh, give this padding this form okay <coughs> and this will be 200 no 200 is way more no 100 is also not good I'll make it 60 yeah this is good so I don't want the padding from top I don't want padding from bottom and let me just make it 50 yes 50 looks good and padding from top would be 10 or let's say 20 okay and I'll make it zero from bottom and uh, I'll just drop down simple heading here okay I'll just name it let's get started today and I will just make it white colored and I will make it 30 yeah so now everything maybe is good and also give this padding from above yeah let's say 50 and I want the layout to be stretched and full width now our form is ready okay let's preview changes sure see our form is ready and I want spacing in between these so where I can give it Okay, let me go to form. Okay, so this is styling. Okay, this should give spacing in between. Yeah, this is the spacing between two columns, and this is the row setting. Okay, now we have spacing 30. Yeah, 30 is good. 30 is good. Now, we have good spacing in between every column okay so next thing would be okay so this was the form then I can just um, check login okay if I want to create a login form it is like here and I can just design it as I design the form next thing would be slides so it is a premium slider type of thing so I have the three slides I can just change the content from here and button content there's the link to this button and I can just style it custom styling is like this thickening center center Content color, text shadow. Okay. And what is in the background? Okay, we can just make the height 
one digit 500 say I am giving one image here okay so what effects is that? let me just delete other ones okay I'm just copying it two times okay and I want to remove this color because if the image is uh, loading slow this color will appear first and I don't want to show this color what is keen burn effects you, you see this this zooming in effect see it again yes the zooming in effect and if I can make it zoom out yes I can make it okay background overlay is it black color so it is up to you what you want and uh, I am going to give it a shadow so I can just see the content perfect okay now you can see the content perfectly it is up to you that how much overlay and how which how type of overlay you want suppose this is now very pure black and I'll just make it like this okay so it is totally up to you the next thing would be uh, navigation menu if I want to throw a navigation bar anywhere so it will ask okay maybe it was not thrown right before yes so now it will ask me for the menu i want to display main menu here i will make it center a line of stretch yeah sure and now um okay the text color is space between should be five okay um, I'll make it zero and it must show this the underline and active color okay and this is the layout setting if I want to make it drop down this will have this one but Okay, and this is vertical, and this is horizontal. Wanted is underline animation is fade or grow. Suppose I'll it will grow. Yeah. Some menu indicator. This carrot icon. Breakpoint is mobile always. I just want to break it on mobile and I just want to show it full width and okay so toggle button is hamburger and then I'll go into style okay. you can all of the things are like this okay next thing this is my favorite animated ABC okay I just want to show underline zigzag and the color would be like yeah see this one the underline zigzag Bring it to front, round edges, and this like cool color. Okay, and I can just design this headline as well. I can just design it in my way here. Okay, now it looks cool. It has many other designs. I like the zigzag. If I want to make it curly, I can make it curly here. Underline, double, and double underline, uh, underline zigzag, uh, diagonal, strike through, X. So maybe this underline zigzag, 
and the text would be welcome This is the animation speed so I'll just delete it and we'll move forward to the next widgets there are a lot of bunch okay this is the PayPal button so you'll just set set this PayPal account the transaction type item name SKU so you can just make different settings from here if I want to I uh, just um, suppose if I'm designing a product on the home page and I want to just make the checkout button of people here so I can just make it okay let me go from the app this is video playlist from the YouTube okay you can just design it like the YouTube playlist and this will be the sample videos and the tabs these tabs so everything can be set from here okay and this is code highlight so you can just write any javascript html css sas less typescript or any other coding if you want to just include you can just include this coding into front end suppose uh, you are making a website like this there will be three schools um, suppose let's say HTML tutorial okay so like this so you can make a website like this by the help of this tool code highlight code will be highlighted like this okay the next thing would be lotte animation so this is the animation of the video I can just uh, put an external URL to any video it will also give me the animation like this and the next thing would be template I have any specific template in saved in my Elementor and I can just upload that template which I already can do from here as a template okay then this Facebook page Facebook embed I can just embed Facebook page here uh, I can this Facebook embed here if I want to embed a specific post video or comment and I can go with this Facebook comments so I can just show number of comments order by social target page current page your format print Parma link okay so you can now uh, I can just do this widget and I'll, I'll just get it with my Facebook and it will uh, uh, when I'm logging into a post um, to my Facebook it will just display the comment about that post specifically okay uh, so now I'll just take this first of all then this is the block quotation if I want to insert any quotation if I want to make it clean quotation inverted commas boxed okay so I can just do it next thing would be the share buttons and just create any share buttons like social icons the next thing would be countdown the timer which I've shown you uh, the premium add-ons as well 
so uh, it is the similar but it can be different it has a more option say for one to display some due date so it will start counting by uh, the specific date or I can just make evergreen timer as well okay so these kind of settings are concerned of these uh, the timer settings the background color and the font size and the timer settings and then we have table of contents so it is showing the table of contents for uh, this page what elements they have the main heading okay and uh, the next thing would be reviews say testimonial the slider I can just put any slider with the name and image and the username and the content I can just make it the testimonial slider the next thing would be media care so the slider the media care slider okay so I have different images and I can just make another type of slider that has many types like slideshow the big image and the, all the other images, small images. Cover flow, this is also cool. Yeah, you see the unique design. And next thing would be the uh, flick box. See, I can just make it like this. change this card position I can do that okay from the settings yes I want to slide so it will slide I want to slide right it will slide right always I want to zoom in so it will zoom in always if I want to zoom out it will zoom out if I want to fade it will fade if I want push it will push this so it goes like this I can just design it with my own content and next thing would be price table we have also seen this in premium add-ons for element or we can design it in different ways and the next thing would be this price list is the same and last thing is hotspot the main big image we can say okay so these were the premium widgets let me just update it and let me just go towards other thing how we can upload uh, our own fonts in Elementor so right now we have like many multiple fonts but if suppose I want to use any specific font let's say uh, word uh, is one good for font but it is not available so I'll tell you how to do that so I'll go to pages uh, sorry not to the page I'll go to dashboard and I've even also given this word font into your canvas okay I'll go to elementary custom fonts Just go to add new font family is a word huh? regular I have like one regular one bold and one semi bold so let me just name it as the word of me okay sorry so now I have to just first give it a name because I will be adding the font variation so let me just extract this faster and see what type of file I have okay I have ODF and EDF files then I'll okay then I will just upload this TTF file here 
and upload this. I'm going to avoid a DDF and I just want to um, avoid the bold. This is uploading. I'll select this particular file. I'll give it over the bold and I'll just publish it. So a word about this published. Uh, I want to add one more font just to show you different things. Now I want a word regular. I'm going to on the file. Okay, now not to do this. I'll upload new one. This is going to regular. Yes, this is the like regular. So let it get uploaded. Yes, this is the water regular. So I'll just publish this one as well. Okay, so now. I'll update this okay suppose now I'll go to phones and now I will just search for a word it will appear here a word now you see we have this a word it is quite beautiful thing and uh, okay so now I'll update it so here you can see how we change different fonts so now the time is to show you how to create a elemental header and footer. Let me let me just okay. So I'll just go to this theme panel and I'll go to this theme uh, my library. And next, uh, I'll make a new template. I'll just make no two, uh, two new templates. One is for header and one is for footer. For example, I'm quickly going into this header and uh, I'll just make the content layout full. I'll make it the title to disable and I'll publish and also make it footer. And uh, I will uh, go to the title, for, make it full width and title disable and i'll make it publish so next thing would be uh, added by element this uh, specific header and, and now uh, i'll also uh, start editing this by element okay so now i am in header suppose what i want i want this logo and this menu to appear here i'll just create three columns i'll tell you why i have created three columns so first of all i'll just make it full width i'll just make this stretch section i'll just uh make it minus 50 the margin okay now everything looks cool i'll upload site logo Now it will, uh, okay, now I don't want this big site logo. So I'll just make the custom sizing, uh, maybe 150 by 150. Uh, it is also big for me. So I'll just make it maybe 100 by 100. Yeah, it looks fine now. Then I'll just drag it and see how it would be. Okay, okay, 15 is good. And I'll just make uh, uh, 
I'll just search for nav and I'll put this nav from pro version here. Okay, and I'll just go to main menu and I'll just go to design. I'll just go to typography and let me create it like 2017 is good and 700. Okay, the next thing I want to go this man open this main menu again and on hover i want this color to be blue okay this is blue now i want to make this more smaller and less darker yes okay uh, i want this pointer color so this is the pointer color when i hover over it and I want active text color to be blue color. Okay. And I want this in middle. So I'll go into this layout and I will make this word align middle. Sure. So I'll again go into this uh, navigation menu setting. I'll go into content. I'll make it stretched or maybe centered. Yeah. Or maybe right. Okay. So now. Uh, the pointer is underlined animation is grow and breakpoint would be mobile and I want to make it full width on mobile when it will be clicked I'll sh tell you how okay now I'll update it okay let me go into responsive mode uh, let me go into here okay I don't want it like this I want it to appear like maybe 50 this then this and i'll make this column okay 50 then 60 and next thing would be 40 yes okay so now when i'll click over here so it will just display this whole menu i want this in the center maybe stretched and And what do I want? I want to change this hamburger color. So I'll, uh, okay, this is the drop down settings. The text color should be black and the rest of the things are fine. Uh, I want the toggle color to be pure black. Okay, this is, this should be white and background color should be yeah like this it looks cool and i can okay so this looks cool yeah here okay and if i want it to be more smaller i can just go here i can make it 40 and i can just make it 50 and 40, 10, 50, and then 50. So this is up to you. Okay, I can uh, just save it. Okay, and similarly, I will just go into template and I'll go into block. So I'll go into footer maybe. Yeah, because I'm creating footer. Yes, here I have footers, predefined footers. These are from Pro. Say I like this one, I'll just insert it. I don't have to make anything from scratch. Okay, I'll just go into the section. I'll make it full width. I'll select this section. If I want to change something here, I will change here, here, here. Okay, so now I will just update it. Okay, I should make this back the stretch section. And why this, uh, this will show some spacing at the footer. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this 
uh, unlink this and I'll just make it minus 80 or minus 50. I just want these dots to be equal to my section. Okay, let me just see if it gives us spacing. Okay, I'll, I've just updated it. I'll go into this, I'll just close this. Okay, uh, let me just open this customizer because first of all, I'll disable the both uh, themes, header and footer. Okay, this is the themes header and themes footer. I'll now just disable these first. And if you'll just refresh this, it will show you two templates. Yeah. And these are the short codes. Let it be just load. Meanwhile time, I'll see that. Uh, okay. Maybe we're going to see this uh, thing again tomorrow and this WooCommerce setup. Okay, I'll see this, uh, we'll see this WooCommerce setup today and we'll go with the header shrinking tomorrow because this uh, would be a lot of knowledge for you right now. Okay, then I'll, uh, first of all, I'll go into this header. I'll go into the menu and okay, I'll, I have these templates now. I'll just fix header here and I'll go to general and I'll just make it from minimal. I'll go to custom header. So this is how we can just upload the menu. Okay, so now it has our own uh, menu. So I'll go into top bar, general, and I'll just hide this top bar and I'll publish it. And then I'll go to the footer widgets. And I'll just disable these footer widgets. These will gone by now. And the next thing, how I can add footer. I don't uh, add this in customizer. I will also disable this footer bottom. It's this one, the copyright. Okay. I will go into Elementor. And I'll just integrate the footer here uh, on every page. So I'll just uh, go to template and my templates. Okay. Sorry. And the blocks. And I'll just go into footer. And I'll just insert the footer and I can just design it in any way. Now you see, uh, we'll have this footer here. So now we can design it like anyway. So it was in today's lecture. I hope you liked today's lecture. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the class. Thank you for today. Bye for now.